Hey guys, welcome back to my catch name. It's me, Ella, and I'm gonna attempt to do some vlogs for vlogist, but uh, not daily. I can guarantee it's not gonna be daily because I always slack off and forget. <laughs> but it's actually not morning. It's maybe it is still morning. I don't know. I'm on my phone. It's almost 11. I just see the clock in there. Me and Jess just got back from the post office. Um, I went out to check the mail and to mail a package and to play the Harry Potter game. The Wizards do not. Let's play that. But I just, well, hold on a second, he ain't got his, okay, <laughs> he didn't have his underwear on, he just got done pottying, so I had to put his underwear on. Anyways, he's outside playing with the water squirty things <laughs> on the porch, so I'm sitting here and I just picked some cucumbers off of my plants, got five. <laughs> I think that um, my plants are about to the end, of, the cucumber plants are about to the end of their fruitfulness. <laughs> They're pretty big. There's still some little cucumbers on there growing, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a little bit more. But their leaves are starting to die off a lot, so um, I think in a, maybe a week or two, I'll probably just end up going ahead and removing all of those and uh, cleaning that bit up. But the tomato plants are still growing little tomatoes, and Devin's pepper plants are really um, starting to produce. And if I can think about it, I'll film a little clip and throw it in there of the whole porch and all the plants and stuff. We already have ideas for next year. We want to plant a whole bunch of different stuff. and manage it differently you know so that there's more um better use of space and all that but anyways that's enough about the garden <laughs> so what i got in the mail was um a woman contacted me on facebook i won't say her name in case she doesn't want me to tell it so it's this one i've seen a lot of you guys share this book before uh it's called unicorns and dragons well it's unicorns dragons and more fantasy amigurumi and it's by meteor books i guess it's not the same designer i don't know I flipped through it and I've seen it before. All the patterns that are in it are right here. I've seen this little guy a lot and this guy that's on the cover. I'm actually, I want to make them and this little guy for sure. Probably some of these. I don't know, probably all of them. <laughs> this one looks a little complicated, but um, I for sure want to make the three green ones because I like them and uh, I think they'd be pretty popular at like craft fairs. But yeah, so I got this awesome book and it's pretty big. It's got uh, let's see here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen patterns. Let me recount that. <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen patterns. Woohoo! So I can't wait to um, rip into this and start using it. But yeah, so I had to mail a package and I mailed it. I gotta send the person who ordered it the tracking code and all that jazz. I'm sitting here at my desk. Let me kind of show a different angle. I've got bags stacked up everywhere. These are the bags that are going to be going into the shop tomorrow morning. Today when you see this. Um, and these ones is a gift and these are for the Christmas in July mail that's ending soon. These um, bag sets are going to be for those winners. Got my cucumbers, my sewing machine, all kinds of stuff. And the bags has got address on it. Just, and that's a project that I'm working on. There's Jesse playing outside. Hey Jesse! Are you having fun? Yeah. I'm going to make this bed a wild and a wild. Yeah. I With forgot he was in his water. <laughs> yeah, so I just got, I got stuff over. Look how dirty my floors are. This is how my floors get when I sew. See all the thread and material laying around? I have a garbage can, but I end up throwing stuff all over the floor. And uh, I just haven't swept yet, so I need to do that. But Devin always jokes when he knows when I'm sewing because he'll have, there'll be thread all over the house. It'll get tracked everywhere. And I found a bunch in the kitchen yesterday and he even sometimes, he'll come home from work and he'll have some in his pocket that he picked off of his shirt throughout the day. And it's just funny because I'm, I'm a real messy sewer apparently. But yeah, let me set you back up there. Uh, let's see here. August the 1st is actually tomorrow. I'm filming this today so that I can have a video for August the 1st. Uh, it's a Thursday, so I'll be doing some grocery shopping and bill paying. I think most of my bills are online now. And uh, I will have the girl that I babysit, so I won't be able to film a bunch of stuff. You know, I just as long as she's not in the frame, it's all good. But um, I'm thinking about taking them to the splash pad tomorrow. I took Jesse yesterday. And... Um, because he finally got his cast took off. He got his cast took off on Monday. We went to Nashville to his last appointment. <laughs> and um, they cut his cast off. And, you know, they did x-rays. Said everything looks good. And that we don't even have to do a follow-up. So, um, they just showed us some exercises to do to help his wrist mobility. But he's already, like, it's pretty much back to normal. He's fine. <laughs> he's really re resilient. And um, 
So yesterday, since his cast was off, I went to we went to the playground and he played because he wasn't allowed to be on the playground at all the whole time he had his cast. They told us not to let him play rough, you know. So he played for about an hour at the playground and it was hot. So I was, I was stopping him constantly, making him drink water. And uh, after we got done doing that, I was like, well, let's go play in the water fountain. So we went over there and he played. So he got cooled off. And he played in that for about 30 minutes, 45 minutes until uh, we had to leave to go wake Devin up. And uh, we had a lot of fun. He had a lot of fun. So I'm thinking about taking them tomorrow morning to that. Mama, I take it over here. Yeah, be careful. We're then okay. He's playing with a bucket of water right now and some of those gun things that you like pull it. like Kind of like a syringe almost, but they're water toys. They were on clearance, so I bought him some. And Because yesterday at the splash pad, there were a bunch of kids with those. And he want, really wanted one, so I went ahead and grabbed him. Now there's two. So if we do go tomorrow, him and Catherine both will have um, water guns. So, yeah. Uh, um, if we do go, it'll be fun. I'll try to get some pictures, but, you know, I, d I don't feel comfortable. One, I don't film the girl that I babysit because she's not my daughter. And I, I know you can film other people, like, in public places, um, as long as you're not, like, purposely filming them, like, stalking them. But I still don't want to film other people's kids without their permission. So when I when we go to stuff like that, I, I take pictures, and I do film little clips of Jesse, but I usually zoom in a lot, or I try my hardest to block out other people's faces. But uh, I'll get whatever I can get. <laughs> and I got um, in water. yeah, I seen you shooting it up in the air, and now it's like raining down on him. But um, so I'll try to get some footage. I don't know. August isn't really like a huge month for us, um, so vlogs probably won't be super um, interesting. But you know, just follow me around on some days. I won't be doing it every day because I forget to film, or sometimes my videos are just me talking the whole time, and that's probably boring to some people. But um, There'll be random amounts of fiber content throughout them, but they're not going to be specifically full of crochet and stuff. But yeah, so this weekend we might get into some fun though. If Devin's off of work, we're going to go to a Discovery Center, Discovery Museum, to let Jesse play. Because we want to let him go do stuff now that he um, has his cast off. But I don't know for sure if we're going to do that because um, Devin had to work seven days last week. So he may have to work seven days again this week. I don't know. But also this weekend, I am going to try to get some, uh, get to Joann's. Our closest Joann's is 45-ish minutes away. But I got some people wanting certain types of material that I can't find locally. And I know I can order it off the internet, but I hate ordering stuff off the internet. I would rather go and buy in person. But uh, I'm going to hopefully go to Joann's this weekend. Their new weekly ad should come out tomorrow. So hopefully there will be some fabric sales and maybe some yarn sales or something. And, um... Or even books, because I actually, right now, I have a ton of yarn. I don't really need any more yarn. But what I want to get is pattern books. Specifically, I'm a groovy one, so this was just perfect gift. Um, because I want to have, I like having books and printed out patterns and stuff that I can carry with me. So that I don't have to keep looking at a device the whole time. So, I've got a binder that I've been putting patterns in that I, I carry around to the house with me. And then when I go out, I just take that one pattern. Right now, I'm working on... Um, Timothy and the T-Rex. I've had so many people suggest that pattern because it sells so good for them. So I'm going to... I've got one started. I just barely started it. It's just like a circle right now. And um, yesterday I did make a little bat. What did I do with that? Oh, here it is. Oh, <laughs> it's got big holes. I hated that. When I made it, I was like, dang it. <laughs> but um, this turned out way bigger than the one I made myself last year. It was so much smaller than this, and I don't know why, because it was worse to me, too. I was going to make, like, three or four of these, but when I was making it, I was like, yeah, I don't like really like... This isn't, like, the pattern that you would want to make a bunch of, because the wings are a little tedious, and the ears... Okay. Uh-uh, don't shoot it in the house. Okay, just be careful. I don't want to have to mop it all up. I love this pattern. It's a Mary Smith pattern, which is one of my favorite amigurumi designers, because she designs these big, giant amigurumis. But I can't stand these big holes. That uh, bugs me to death. It doesn't look that bad in real life. I think it's just because the sun's glaring on it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. And then I might find another uh, easier bat pattern. Just because I need to make patterns that I can make a bunch of quickly. And not have to focus. This one took me a couple of days because, you know, life kept interfering. <laughs> but it's still really cute. And if no one buys it, it'll be another Halloween decoration for myself. So, um, I love it. But it turned out huge, way bigger than my purple one last year. I don't know why, but that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm still working on my pattern. It's up there, so I pointed up there. My finished one is up there. I'm actually going to enter it into our county fair. 
but I can't show you guys that until well by the time that I enter it in the fair the pattern will be released I hope but um let's see here I'm working on the second one it's actually laying on the table you would have seen parts of it just a minute ago because you can't tell what it is but that orange and stuff over there <laughs> that's it but um I'm working on an, another copy of it <laughs> so that I can take pictures for the pattern because I've got the pattern the PDF all topped up and ready to go all I gotta do is take pictures of the um the process of making it and uh of sewing it together and then put that into the PDF and then it'll be all ready to go so I will be uh, my hopes is to release that by the end of August because I want to do a crochet along sometime in September for it um just for fun and um yeah it's gonna be pretty cheap because it's a really simple pattern it's not like complex and um it is amigurumi I'm, just, I'm sure i've told you guys that it is it's only got a few things that gotta be sewed out well no that's kind of a lie <laughs> you'll see it when it comes out but it's a really basic pattern i think it was really easy it works up fast when i don't have other a million other things going on and yeah so i will hopefully be contacting some pattern testers in a week or two for that uh, i've already got a list of people who have offered so i've got four or five people <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and let them be my testers and try to get it out then by the end of august but i really need to work on that i need to like sit down and work on that this weekend and get that done and the pictures made because i need to i want to get that out by september for sure but yeah i've been babbling forever so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and i'll see you guys in a later clip Okay, you guys are currently in my kitchen cabinet. I am working on my grocery list for tomorrow. Tomorrow I will go grocery shopping, I think, tomorrow. Maybe Friday, because if I take the kids to the splash pad tomorrow, I may not have time to go grocery shopping afterwards. But, um, we have a marker board on our wall. You've probably seen it in other videos. Um, I write stuff down on it as we run out of stuff, but then the night before I go grocery shopping, I like to go around the kitchen and all the cabinets and refrigerator and all that and look and see what we have meal-wise to make. And then I, you know, plan off of that. And then I, I'm really specific about how I write my grocery list too. I write um, freezer stuff, cooler stuff, inner aisle stuff, produce, and then non-grocery stuff <laughs> in sections. So like, I need some aluminum foil. What else? Trash bags. And I think that's everything non-grocery right now. And then I need some Fiesta cheese. We use that on everything. Um, milk. It's cold stuff. And then I do get, get some more cereal. And gummies for Jesse. He finally finished off his last ones. Some tea. Okay, that's everything off my list. So now I'm going to go around the kitchen and the cabinets and then the freezer and see what kind of meat I have and all that for meals. Oh, wait, something Devin wanted. Oh, yeah. Pecan rolls. He wants some pecan rolls. Pecan, pecan, whatever you call them. We call them pecans. So I'm going to go through the refrigerator and all that stuff and see what do we need food wise. Alright, looks like we have everything in the refrigerator that I would need for most things that we make. Except I do want to get some um, water, flavor, gallon tea. The water flavor packs, but the gallon version ones for tea flavored water. Because <laughs> I'm trying to cut out drinking so much sugary stuff uh, for me and Jesse. Um, I definitely don't want Jesse's teeth getting bad. What? Hold on a minute. And I'll adjust. But anyways, all right. Cabinets are next, and then pantry, and then I'll catch up. Okay. After going through all my cabinets, I got my grocery list. It's actually really small this week, which is awesome, because <laughs> our budget is fifty-five dollars a week, unless we have extra money one week, and then we might get some extra stuff, or um, you know, some weeks if we have less, <laughs> we get less. But um, this week, I don't have any rolling over, so it is fifty-five dollars, and. Let's see here. Do you get Devin some drinks? I'm gonna go ahead. Even though I don't need um, chicken breast 
for any meals that I want to make, I'm going to go ahead and buy another pack of it just because um, I like having chicken on hand to grill or make barbecue chicken because I love barbecue chicken. And I'm also going to look for a roast, either a pork or a beef roast or um, like a pork loin or something. If it, any on Markdown, I will grab it because I love roast. Roast is like my favorite thing ever with potatoes and like cornbread on the side. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and see if they have any on sale. I'll grab a roast tomorrow. I hope I can get a beef roast because those are my favorite. But pork is good too. It's all about the seasoning. And I don't need any laundry stuff or cleaning supplies. I don't need any personal things for like any either one of us. I do need to get uh, some mailers for no catchy name. Uh, I got ink the other day. I got tape. Is there anything else I need? I want to go to Joanne's Saturday or Sunday and look for fabric. I'm going to put that on there just so I can remember. Maybe it's fabric question mark and then if I buy fabric I'll need to get more interfacing and zippers interfacing zips yeah and I have two different bag designs that I'm working on I'm actually gonna go work on one in a minute um I'm here mama. to start making new shapes of bags for the shop so I'm hoping I can get those figured out soon and going you still killing zombies yes you got the kill but you still Taking the big good guy. Oh, okay. But yeah, so that's my grocery budget. I think I'm gonna go work on that um, bag I was just talking about, cutting out, and maybe start sewing it today uh, out of some scrap material that I have, so I might look weird. <laughs> and then I'm going to sit down and work on some amigurumis for my craft fair. So I will show clips of either of those if I can remember what to film. Where's my sword? Well, Jesse just got into trouble. He cut holes all in his blanket. Mm. Good job. Take me to my again. I'm I'm taking a video. Put it. Good job. Oh, there's Devin's pepper plants. Can I see? And the cucumbers are all on the fence. Yeah. Uh, no, mommy's feet are in it. See, they're banana peppers. I screwed up the top. Oh, you didn't have no water in it. We're sitting outside. I've got that my... Has water in it. What is it called? High Tides Waves or something like that. Uh, blanket. I'm working on it. This I is just... I think you sweat. I just gotta get my feet wet, but don't squirt the rest of me, okay? Because I don't want to get the blanket all wet. It's pretty warm today, so I turned the air off in the house so I could put a fan to at least have some air on us. He's so cute, but I'm gonna sit here and crochet for a little while. Sticky splash! Okay, I'm gonna make another sticky splash. Okay, make another one. Hey, Jesse, how's your arm feeling? Better. Are you glad to have your cast off? Yes. Good yeah. job. I'm going to make another so I'm No, leave that door open because that's that's how we're getting some air, okay? Spray this one though. Okay. Okay, I'll spray it. I'll spray this one. Ooh, don't spray mama. <laughs> okay, spray that one up there on the top because I was getting mama wet. It's cold. It's okay to be cold. Yeah, I know, but mommy's trying to crochet. Try not to squirt, squirt it in the house. I'm trying to get, to get it to go over there. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Try it in. Wow, that's so cool. That's not it. 
Why don't do it? Because I'm talking to Daddy. And he said, go back down. Finish talking to Daddy. <laughs> oh, Jesse. <laughs> mommy. You little rascal. You got mommy. Don't do that. I called you little rascal. See me? That was a talk What are we doing? You can take a misprint of my series right there. What are we doing sitting here? Is what I mean. Uh, what's in here, Scott? That goes for you to take a picture. Oh. What did we just get done doing? Uh, don't take a picture. Well, I'm trying to get you to help me log. We just came in from outside, right? And playing with the water. Don't you remember that? We just did that. <laughs> log. Yeah, and he's sitting here playing with a puzzle. I can't show you because he's in his underwear. But we're sitting here. It is a little after 7. Take uh, a picture. I'm not taking a picture. I'm taking a video. Oh, my gosh. You're on the camera. Yeah, you are, too. And my laptop's right in front of me. That's why it's so glary. I'm looking at YouTube. <laughs> and, and my laptop is over here. It's really You're not allowed to watch TV, are you? Yes. Why did you get in trouble? Because I did. What did you do to get in trouble? Do is bad. What did you do that got in trouble? Your mommy took your tablet away and turned off the TVs all day. Uh, cut my blanket. Yep, you cut your blanket with scissors, huh? Yeah, I would. When good. mommy told you not to cut anything but the paper I gave you. And then you cut your blanket up. I'm sorry. It's okay. I know you know it's wrong, but you still have to get punished. So I, I've got to try to figure out. Quit throwing those, please. Nope, nope. You're going to have to pick them all up. I don't know why you're throwing them. Go pick them up. No, I'm working on my new one. Well, you're going to have to pick them up in a minute. Anyways, he uh, cut his blanket up. I think it's, yep, it's right there. i got to try to figure out if I can save it. I'm sure I can. It's just going to look weird. Because he cut it in like eight different places. So he got in trouble, so he lost okay, I'll TV find... all day, and I took his tablet away. Did you throw it in the garbage? No, it's on top of the refrigerator, because <laughs> you can't reach it up there. But he just, he got in trouble for doing that. I specifically told him when I gave him his scissors to cut the paper. He likes to cut construction paper, and they're little kid scissors, you know. But I said, not don't cut anything else but the paper, or you're going to get in trouble. And then I, when I went to check on him, he had cut his blanket. I'll cut my big blanket. I'll find my big blanket that's cut. It's in there on the table where Mommy's going to fix it. You ain't going to get to play with scissors no more, though. I will find my ten one. You're not going to get to play with scissors for a long time. Because Mommy can't trust you now with them. Well, I'm, I'm going to find the one that's cut with scissors on my new laptop. It's 58 pounds. Oh, you're using your laptop. <laughs> He's pretending yeah. his puzzle box is a laptop. Anyways, it's 7, 15-ish. I, I found it. It's right there in the mm. middle. Oh, uh -huh, okay. So, in a little bit, I'll be giving him a bath. If he, Do you want to take a bath tonight? Yes. Okay. We'll do that here in a little bit, okay? I will get my submarine fixed. All right, go fix up your submarine. Yeah, so I got to make sure the back door is locked. I can't remember if I locked it. But I'm going to give him a bath, and then we're just going to say here chill. That's normally when we watch cartoons together, but we can't today, can we? No. Usually, after I give him a bath in the evening, we sit and watch, like, Spongebob or something. Yeah. But we can't do that tonight because you done went and cut this blanket up. Yeah, I'm so funny. No, that's not funny. That's bad. I'm funny. You're funny sometimes, but cutting stuff like that is bad. But I still like this. Well, you can play with that in the tub. Back there's my book. Yeah, it's so cute. I can't wait to make that right there. I've been wanting to make that in that. I think it's a goblin. I can't remember now. I, just, I looked at it all earlier. That little thing. I've seen so many people make that, and I've been wanting to make it. So now I can. Can we make? Can we see that turtle? You, that's not a turtle. There's no turtles on there, silly. Can we see it? You can look at it, but be careful with it. It's mommy's new book. It's so funny because that book is actually on my Amazon wish list and I was... Mama, I found it! That's not a turtle. That's a baby dragon. 
Yeah, it's cute. It's on my Amazon wish list, and um, I almost bought it myself like two days ago. I got money from Ibotta. I cashed out my Ibotta, and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to use it on. And um, I looked at that book, and they have the Kindle version of it. It's like nine ninety nine, and I almost got it, but I didn't oh, because it's Kindle version. Yeah, it's a phoenix. Yeah, phoenix bird. Isn't that cool? Look, it's one of phoenix birds. It flies. Yeah. You know what else they do? They catch on fire. They catch on fire sometimes, and they get and the, and the firefighters shook them out. The firefighter just put him out. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm gonna go give him a bath and then I don't know if I'll film anymore after that because. Hey, mama. What? He keeps interrupting me. Wait. You're so rude. Look. That is, that's a, um, I forget what it's called. It's like a dinocorn. It's a dinosaur, but when it's got a unicorn horn. Isn't that silly? Wait. Mom, did you see girl? Oh, and no, lollipop. She's holding, uh, yeah, she's holding a lollipop because she's a sweet tooth fairy. Yeah. See, he's... that's a tooth right there she's got. And when you lose your teeth, she comes and gets them and she gives you money. And. It's a unicorn. <gasps> yeah. It's, it's, so, so, it's so beautiful. It is beautiful. Huh? Mommy, Mommy will probably make everything in that book because I think it'd be fun to make the whole thing. Mama, this is sad dragon. Yeah, that's okay. But he does look sad, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop because we've been babbling. I look hey, really there's, sweaty. There's all. In my defense, we were outside for an hour there's plus. There's a mermaid and a wand of things and a witch. And a witch, yep, yeah, kinda. What's this? It's a mushroom fairy or something. I can't remember what it said. <laughs> Mushroom. She's got a mushroom on her head. Isn't What's that silly? That? And that, then that, 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 that. Well, yeah, that. Hold on and I'll show you whatever the thing is. Let me finish talking first. But uh, if I don't see you guys, I'll see you in the next uh, vlogist. But it's not going to be a daily thing Mama, because I don't have that much time. Can we see what mermaids do? They swim. I'm going to read it. Uh, it's not a reading book. It's a pattern book. Um, I'll show you the book real fast and then we'll go take a bath, okay? Bye.